everyone. My name is Ibebe Uno. I'm a 20-year-old ex-photographer, traditional painter, and future filmmaker. But yeah, I'm still all of them at the same time because all forms of art are connected to one another. And I am a Marvel worshiper. I started photography by mistake because, well, yeah, that's a long story. But yeah, I started photography by mistake. Painting, I started that two years ago, late 2014, because before then, I was just drawing and I got tired of that. And paint is a more expressive medium, so I wanted to explore that. And it's been great ever since. Okay, before I start any piece, like randomly before, like when I'm not even trying to create, I am trying to create obviously because you have to be in the mood two for seven. So I just I hold pictures. I have loads and loads of pictures of random things that have to do with nothing. So like from time to time I could just randomly be in church and then two things just connect to each other. And, but then after that there's the period of silence where I just do nothing and look into the air. And then I listen to some Hans Zimmer, who makes the best scores in the world. Yeah. And then comes to me, but then my creative process is pretty slow because I'm kind of lazy. And I like taking my time with stuff. Because then you'll be able to observe stuff. Yes. The first artist who influenced my painting style was a man called Terran Peter. I came across his works on Instagram and I fell in love immediately because when I wanted to start painting for the first three months, I had already gotten my canvas and everything, but then I just couldn't paint. I was like, why am I painting? What am I painting? Like, I didn't have the reasons to paint what I wanted and I also didn't know what I wanted, but then, yeah, when I saw his works for the first time, there was a love connection. Every piece takes about two weeks. Some could take more, some could take less, but then I like to gauge myself. So yeah, two weeks for each book. I just feel that every artist has to be confident with their content, because in the art business, People are trying to get your work for as cheap as they can. So if you place your stuff, if you label them cheaply, people will take advantage of you. It's so like the first few works that I sold for a relatively large amount of money. I was scared to sell them. Like I felt like I was robbing the person, the people I know. But some people like they can see the value in the work and they, they don't have a problem with it, but then there will always be those demons. Who are trying to rip you off and get you off at cheaper prices and stuff. So you just have to stand your ground and know the value of your work. Immediate plans, yeah, I'm trying to get my work out to as many people as possible. That's painting wise. Yeah, mo yeah it's mostly about getting my work out right now because. Most of my sales have been kind of one on one. I haven't really put my work out there for large crowds to see. But there was an exhibition this summer, and yeah, it was a small exhibition, but then yeah, I put my work out there. I got lots of positive views, so it's a nice feeling. And that's what I'm trying to do. First of all, most of my paintings are portrait paintings, you know, portraits of people. I'm addicted to portraits, so like once in a while, I like to deviate and try to my first attempt with oil paint. So I just wanted something that was going to stress me, because yeah, I like stressing myself. I'm halfway through each painting, I'm like, this sends me to do this, that kind of thing. So, with this, and then the painting is well using their ultra superpowers, lots of bubbles and buttercup. 
them dedicated their lives to kids who fight in crime, some forces of people. But with the I was saying trust, but then but then I just realized we actually have okay, we don't have um, what's her name? The, the green one, what's her name? Buttercup. We don't have buttercup, but we have bubbles and Lost some somewhere there. Yeah, we also have blossom. Princess when she became purple. Yeah, we have bubbles and hands. <laughs> but it's a couple of Okay, so this is an old Nigerian Muslim woman. This was an experimental piece because I love drawing old people like that with graph graphite pencils on paper because I love the little details and wrinkles in their faces. So I decided to try and paint an old person. What I had in mind was very different from what came out. Well, it's textured because of the subject, it being an old woman, if you pay attention, to the details and the wrinkles on the faces of old people. There's a lot of grain and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to incorporate the roughness of all that because yeah, the older we get, the Well, when I finished the work at first, I was contemplating between adding all these random things. But yeah, it just felt like I needed to add more pizzazz. To the painting so yeah i got my comb and then i dipped it in paint and then started making the imprints on it but, and well that was my favorite comb so it's lost to the art so i could not use it any longer because it's been destroyed but then it was worth well because i was really happy with the results i guess i think everyone should watch game of thrones yeah, because it's really good. I used to be one of those people who thought, yeah, it's overhyped and all, but then I started to watch season one to six in like a week. And then I fell in love. So if you don't already watch Game of Thrones, you might as well find my handle and block me on Twitter, Instagram, anywhere. Block me, I don't know. Die. If you want. But yeah, Game of Thrones is really I should watch it. I love that show. But yeah, what else was I talking about? Yeah, you should watch every Marvel movie there is. Not everyone, but yeah, you should sort of understand because there's a sequence of these things and God loves you. Yeah, he does.